All right, now. The fucking Toronto Maple Leafs have been driving me fucking crazy this year. They're supposed to be such a potent offensive team, and yet something just isn't right with the team. The, is it the players just aren't... The players just don't seem to be buying into the system. Now, I don't know whether you want to lay blame on Babcock and not mixing things up enough, being a little stubborn. and he used to mix things up with Detroit all the time. He doesn't seem to really be doing that much juggling now. Uh, Dubas has already let go of the two assistant coaches, which is usually a, like a last ditch effort to try and save your coach's job. And nothing's really gone right. He's dealt with injuries. Hyman was a big factor missing the first 19 games. You've had what, Kerfoot out with the, the dental injuries. The Leafs are 0-4 without Mitch Marner. He's gone for four to six weeks. Well, I guess that would be three to five weeks now because they're about a week into that injury. They get blown out 6-1 by Pittsburgh with no Sidney Crosby in the lineup. There just seems to be no defense on this team at all. They switched up a handful of roster spots from last year and it still doesn't seem to make a difference. Now you can't go ahead and trade the whole team. So that means unfortunately it's gotta be either Dubas or Babcock. And in my opinion, I rather see Babcock go than Dubas myself and see what a new coach can maybe do with a lot of this young talent you know, like Nylander has been playing well this year but Matthew second in goals this year Anderson playing well but no backup goalies like Anderson's allowed what 44 goals in 16 games this year and the backups have allowed 20 26 I believe double checked up but I think they've allowed 26 goals in just like tw six fucking games or something 26 goals in six games, backup goalies, one or two have been empty netters, but that's completely unacceptable. I realize Babcock's hands are tied in the backup goalie situation in a lot of ways, but why do you continuously put him out there against what seems to be the better team on the second night of back-to-backs when the, the legs are going to be a little more tired heading into them? Your backup goalie, you want the team at its best, at its top, at its peak. Play him in the first games of back-to-backs. Is this Freddie Anderson refusing to play in the second games? I don't think so. Freddie Anderson, I bet, wants to play in every fucking game. And if he didn't understand that the way the NHL works and that load management and other sports that's become in a popular term needs to be rested for the playoffs and, and most starting goalies only play about 60 65 games of the 82 game schedule so where does this all lie like where is the least biggest problems who can do this even trade they're so tight to the salary cap this team is just mind-boggling is driving me crazy i've been a Leafs fan for my whole fucking life I was born 1973, so do the math on how long I've suffered as a fucking Leafs fan. And nothing really seems to be changing. And, and I don't know, like, I don't want to hate on Babcock because he's, I think Babcock's a good coach and a very smart hockey guy, but he's just, for some reason, being too fucking stubborn in my opinion, and, and he has to go now. It, it's... I don't like to say that because especially when I think somebody's a good coach, but it just ain't working with this group of players. And unless you can roll out and trade the majority of your fucking team, which is impossible in any sport, I don't see this changing unless Babcock gets fired and maybe some new a new coach comes in with some new ideas or a system that the players actually believe in and support. Because to me, there seems to be no support, no confidence emitting from the Leafs in any way. I don't know what the dressing room's like. I'm not inside there, but it can't be a, a very happy place right now with what's going on. They're 9-9-4, nine, nine, and four, I believe, is their record. They're, they're only one of only two teams who have played 20 more than 20 games. Most of the league has played between 17 and 20 games. Leafs have played 22, and they sit 10th in the Eastern Conference and, what, 18th or 19th overall in the NHL? It's fucking atrocious. Something has to change. Their power play's gone from 8th last year to 21st right now or some bullshit like that. You gotta step up. You gotta play hard. Something has to be done. Dubas, make your decision. Is it Babcock? You're gonna make a big move on the trade market. Whatever it's gonna be, let's make this fucking happen. Everybody knows the NHL. Teams that aren't in a playoff spot by December 1st, hardly ever make it let alone do what st louis did last year and a lot of that came on the head of biddington i don't care what people say about the coaching change st louis made they made that shit in november or the end of november or middle of november or something not in january when bennington got hot and wrote the blues rode him all the way to a stanley cup championship so babcock 
Unfortunately, I think you're the piece that has to fall next. The two assistants have already gone. Nothing has changed. It hasn't switched it up at all. Unfortunately, you're up next. That's my Leafs take for today. Peace.